this is pretty interesting. So here I have the list of the possible seed words in the 12 word permutation for MetaMask. I'm going to pick 12 random words from this list here. I'll scroll down and let's just grab 12. And actually let's let's mix it up a little. So we'll we'll pick some that aren't in order here. And we need one more. Sustain. All right. Now we convert that into a dictionary and we see if we can break into a MetaMask wallet by trying different permutations. And look at that. Almost instantly, we are able to log into a wallet. Here, try those 12 words there and you should get into a wallet. So if we're trying to brute force for a particular wallet with a balance in it, then we would need to go back to this page and keep trying until eventually our balance is non-zero, at which point we can pause the brute force iteration. Now I got the program, so it logs out and it keeps trying new seed phrases. I'm curious, maybe someone could explain why there's so many valid seed phrases. Now this considerably slows down the brute force search. So now here in this program, I'm calculating how many seed phrases a second this program is able to check and the total number of seed phrases checked so far. Of course, this depends on the density of uh, valid seed phrases that are empty wallets. So far, we've come up just over a thousand seed phrases. We seem to be averaging out at around five seed phrases a second. So let's do some calculations based on this. So this is how many seconds are in a year. So if we average five seed phrases a second, we'll get around 157 million seed phrases in a year. If we want to exhaust every single seed phrase with a given 12 word combination, that would be 12 factorial. So if we divide 12 factorial by the number of permutations we can try in a year, it looks like it would take about three years to exhaust every single permutation given a 12 word uh, combination. So if we were to run, let's say, uh, 10 of these programs in parallel, it would only take about 0.3 years or about 3.6 months to exhaust every permutation. By the way, I'll upload this code to GitHub. The code is considerably improved from the previous episode.